You are looking for a belt printer, but the current belt printers on the market are way out of your budget, or you want to get into a project that takes a little bit longer than just, you know, hit the buy button to buy your 3D belt printer. Well, there is a little project, open source 3D printer, that you can also use to make your own belt printer. Buying the full mechanical set that you will need to add to your Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro, and the 3D printed parts. This is going to be a project series or a series of multiple videos starting with the slicer settings that I have used for printing the parts in ABS with Cura. Let's get into the video. So if you are going to print things in ABS, there are some things that you need to take care of or keep in mind if you are going to work with something like ABS. If you have an open FDM 3D printer like a Ender 3 or other i3 style 3D printer, which is not fully enclosed, I encourage you to use a box or something that is big enough where you can put this printer inside, preventing warping of ABS parts. There's also within Cura a setting called Draft Shield. You can find it under the experimental tab, but the parts that you are going to print right now for the TigTech belt printer are bigger. So if you are going to print something like that, draft sheet shield can help. You have to test it out for yourself. Finding the correct settings, finding the right thing for your machine, for your ABS. If you don't want to waste that much filament, then I suggest printing something like a calibration cube or a Benji in ABS with these settings. That makes it more easier and understand how ABS reacts on your printer with your current settings. If you are satisfied with the results that you get from your calibration cube or from your Benji or some other test print that you did before and you are happy with the layer lines, you are happy with the adhesion, you are happy with everything else you are seeing on your print, then you can continue with starting the first prints on the machine for your TigTac belt printer. For me, it was also a learning curve in itself because I have printed ABS in the past, but I have not printed ABS for a while. So for me, on this brand new machine, I use the QD Tech slicer, which is based on the Cura engine because a lot of things were very similar like in Cura. But QD doesn't have any profiles in Cura slicer. I had to adjust some of the settings to make it look as similar like I had on the QD slicer. First rule, if you are going to print ABS, ABS has the tendency to warp very quickly. Make sure that there is no wind or other cold things touching your print. Check on your spool of filament what are the recommended nozzle temperatures for your ABS because I have used a filament brand called Excel and then I switched over to 3d for makers ABS filament and one filament ABS isn't the same as the other brand ABS. Excel use a temperature between the 220 and 240 degrees. I printed a lot of parts at 235 because that was for that filament the sweet spot. But then I switched over to the 3D for Makers filament and their starting ABS temperature was 240 degrees until 280 degrees. One part similar like this one I have printed at a temperature of 235 degrees. That makes it that your print is well it's going to print but eventually you can just rip it off like that. It's called delamination because the adhesion between one layer and the next layer is not optimized enough to fuse the two layers together. And that is something you don't want to have if you are starting with this kind of project. So make sure to check your filament brand for the ABS settings for the nozzle, but also for the print bed. The sweet spot for my printers is 100 degrees. In general, 100 degrees is sufficient enough, but you can also try 110 degrees or maybe 90 degrees, depending on your test result on your calibration cube or of your Benji. Well, then comes it to the support material because if you are going to print this, I think that this part is the most challenging one to print. You can print it like this, you can print it like that. Doesn't matter which horizontal rotation you can do that. I started with that and I also tried to use three support to see if it is easier to remove those supports. It, it is kind of easier to remove it, but the problem is you have on this part 
you have this little corner here, which is very sharp. When I have printed like that, it came loose, delamination. And so it was hitting it several times. But I also saw a little shift here. This should be all flat, but it wasn't. So this is something you don't want to have. It needs to look like this. All flat surface. Three supports are very nice. If you are using three supports, you can use it easily. But the thing is, the supportive interface between the support and your overhanging part should be touching everywhere. If you don't do that, you will get a little uplifting edge. It doesn't have to be so dramatic, but if you are very precise and you want to have some very clean parts that looks very sharp, then I can imagine that you have to go for a different route. I have one on the build plate right now with also using normal support with concentric support layer for the bottom and also for the top. It is very easy to, to remove it, but you want to have a very clean cutoff. Just let me check that part as well. This is printed on the QD tag. It looks, I think it looks amazing. I think it looks nice. This is the color why I talked about. It's printed in black instead of red. Maybe it does fit, but I need to print the other one in the same color because I, I want to have it matched. So uh, we pop it off just like that. And you see that a lot of holes which use some, use some support material just stick on the bed and that is what you want to have. You want to have it sticking as good as possible. So if you are going to try the, the calibration cube or the Benji, see how well it adheres to your build plate. If it is need, needed to use something like glue stick or some other material to, to get a better adhesion, feel free to, to use that method as well. You can also use IPA alcohol to clean the bed and make sure that your nozzle is relative to the bed very level as possible. And uh, now let's uh, take the support material out and let's see how that works. So as you can see, removal of the support can be very easy, but can also be very difficult. If you are going to choose for a different kind of support material, like the tree support, it is possible, but you need to make sure that your top side from the part look as beautiful as possible or as good as possible, because it's something you are not going to see once you have installed it on the printer. The strength is decent. There is something in going to be in between. Eventually, both sides are going to be supported. And if you are going to attach it, it will clamp onto the extrusion. I think in this case, it should be the 4040 aluminum extrusions. There are some other parts, like mentioned earlier in the video, you can also try to use PLA as a filament to print the draws because the draws are not being heated up they are not under stress so i think that you can use that pretty well because those parts can be quite large so you need to see if it is really needed or not to print it. because i have to print it on one of my bigger printers to print those draws as well so that was the first video of the TechTech ue3 belt 3d printer an open source 3d printer i hope this video helped you a little bit on your way to print your own belt printer the next video i hope to bring out pretty soon and once I have printed everything. I want to assemble the whole thing as fast as possible so that I also can do some belt printing projects. So I will put the link in the description of this video where you can find the parts, where you can buy the other things needed for this belt printer. If you're still watching, thank you, you are amazing. On the end cut, there are some recommended videos worth watching. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media, and we will see each other next time. Peace, bye bye.